And it's the first time I've ever tried to write a song that wasn't just like a one guitar track song. I, I've never had before. I've only written just stuff for me on the guitar. But this one, I started out as a piano song, and there's a guitar part. And then when I was in the shower, which is where I get every decent idea I ever had for some reason in the shower, um, there was a, a cello part came out, and really specifically a kettle drum and a snare drum. And I don't think I honestly know exactly what the fuck a kettle drum is, but I it's know that this is a part for the kettle drum. It's a big thing with the copper bottom that goes... Well, that's when they pound with the like, the big mallets, right? They use the mallets. Yes, yes. That's exactly so, what I'm Well, the about. orchestra only has kettle drums. I don't think they have any other kind well, of Well, and that's the thing. This they is, might have a is, snare. They might have a snare. I mean, orchestra. I guess because... So it's my favorite bands tend to be things, or favorite you know, types of music. It's, you know, Sigaros, Mogwai, Gatsby Jubak, Emperor, Explosions in the Sky, all that type of stuff. I guess it's only natural that I eventually somehow try to write a song that's kind of in that vein, because that's where this seems to be going. Like, it's not going to have lyrics, and it's just going to have all these different parts you know, that kind of come in one by one and build and build. I, and think, I, I think the orchestra has triangle, too. I have not yet seen a triangle role in this You'd be triangle on the Philharmonic? If I decide that there's a triangle part in this piece, then you can have it. <laughs> but I, I'm not going to see. There's not, there's not going to be a... We're not going to use any of these biscuit recipes, man. Oh, well, no, why not? Because they're shit. I love this cookbook. It's my well, well cookbook. I bet if we put buttermilk biscuit recipe on Google... We would well, find that's where something. We're going. Like that. I think it said one and a half cups of buttermilk because I'd that's use. Well, I'd use some buttermilk for my mashed potatoes, and I wanted to make sure I had enough. So what I did was, <laughs> I poured a little bit of one percent uh, <coughs> milk, and to make sure the carton was still full right. up. And, uh, Eric came over the other night though and played guitar while I played on the piano. Which is really nice because that's a complete. We don't do that usually. You know, it's usually we're both playing guitars. Right. Uh, so that was really a lot of fun. And he actually, there's a the place that I'm house sitting. There's a bunch of um, djembes and little handheld drums like that. And Eric started playing those, and as usual, he he fucking played even though he doesn't really know how. He can he can just play any instrument. Is this tune? I don't know, man. I picked it up in, in, a, in, a, in a, about a week and a half, and my tuner's not here. Oh, that's fine, I'll find out in a second. <laughs> oh, there's a missing string as well. Oh, going that's on right. right. I, I, have a, I have my replacements, but yeah, I haven't put my new string on yet. That's right. Vic Chestnut died? Oh yeah, I heard of that. Uh, some of the, uh, some guy I didn't even think were to listen to indie stuff uh, posted that on my Twitter. Shit, man. My mom told me uh, George Michael died, and I'm like, I'm thinking it was George Michael the singer, but no, it was George Michael the sportscaster, because he was a D.C. area guy, you know, before he went national. I was freaking out because... I mean, I expected to hear George Michael was dead just because, you know, his drug problems, being found right. unconscious behind the wheel of a car and shit. And I don't know. Well, motherfucker. I like Big Chestnut. Or did he just uh, have... Uh, I don't even know. Uh, I just uh, saw several people posted on here. Kevin McGonagall, Michael. Uh, uh, God, he was only fucking 45. But he was always... Hurt, so. Yeah. No widespread speculation, but no confirmation that he committed suicide. Oh yeah. Well, that's not the first time I heard. He went into it, so he 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 was in a coma when he died. There's one thing I don't get, is uh, how um, Brittany Murphy died. They said natural causes, and she's oh, well, 32. Kristen, Kristen Hirsch posted that it was another suicide attempt. Yeah. They've been friends for a long time. Well, I, well, I did not know he collaborated with Elf Power. 
He could, I love elf power. He collaborated with so many people. I don't know if I've really heard any elf power. Oh, that's I love elf power, man. I'll burn you some if you want. I fucking love them. Yeah, I don't think I have any. I still gotta listen to the damn Destroyer stuff I burned from you. I got so many CDs lying around. Me too, man. I tell you. I swear to God, if the first thing that comes up when I type in buttermilk biscuits is fucking Sir mix a lot. Nah! <laughs> oh, probably. No, it's not. Maybe I don't even see him. Knows. I don't even see him on the first page. I remember when I was a librarian, we were talking about things that bring up false hits in a search. And one of the librarians said she was looking... Uh, this is the one we want. Any fucking biscuit recipe that comes from a site called the Chitlin site? Chitterling. Chitlin. <laughs> it's Chitterling. It's pronou- what well, we pronounce it Chitlin. Okay, well, yeah. Well, well, yeah, it's, it's uh, that's how they spell it. I mean... It was shortened. It's like... Yeah, it's... Yeah. It's like... Oh, I don't know. Uh, I can't even think of an example. <laughs> Something with a fucking hyphen in it. Like, uh... Like every and every, <laughs> I don't know, it's just something like that. Well, it's just how we do shit in the South when we talk. And yes. People do tend to sort and stuff. So, yeah, it is. Like, if you buy a bucket of chitlins in the South, it says chitterling. I mean, it's spelled properly like that. Well, I don't it. think I'd like to eat those. But because apparently says. they're like, like, like ass. Well, it's their intestines. It's like poo. <laughs> it's not, it's, the whole thing is you've got to clean literally the shit out of them. Well, yeah, but it's still going to be funky. Yeah, it's always going to be a little That's chewy. Gonna be, it's always going to be a little no, chewy I mean, and gummy, and it's going to be a little bit funky because yeah, that's the part I can't, you're eating, I can't imagine eating that. There's like, a ever. So. Uh, well, you. I mean, you don't <laughs> eat meat anymore. But if you still no. ate meat, and we had a, if we, if you still ate meat and we had a plate of fried something, I could probably stash one on your plate and you, you might. Uh, to I don't think so. Emily, you be on the internet, man. <laughs> You go, you can smell it. You probably smell like chocolate. He tried to get on the chocolate earlier. <laughs> well, you what never know. Vic Chestnut died. God damn. Well, I get into his uh, stuff through REM because he used to do so many shows and collaborations well, with them. Do you, do, you, do you even know who George Michael is? I'm going to say George Michael is a sportscaster. He was no, mostly a DC no. area. He did a national show, but he mostly did like. Uh, it's funny that Michael Wilbon became national because, you know, he was one of the panelists on George Michael's show because he worked at the Washington Post. So was Kornheiser before he did the uh, Monday Night Football. I, I, can't, I cannot judge either way whether Kornheiser was a good commentator Come on. because Come on. I just flat out didn't have cable and never Come watched on. Monday Night Football Come on, buddy. with him on it. I know I didn't like Howard Cosell. This says how would. <laughs> I thought he was just ridiculous, and I hated Frank Gifford. That was long before I found out that <laughs> Kathy Lee Gifford was such a, a bitch, dude. Oh God, just such a train wreck, I guess. I don't know. I got buttermilk salt. right here. I got my my dollar store clip on it. This one doesn't even call for eggs. Buttermilk, <laughs> Mobile Gumbo. What? <laughs> <That's>, <laughs> the things that make it funky. So I was neck bone. I was watching TV the other night. Candy yam. I was watching TV last night where I'm house sitting because I mean I'm, I'm usually out there by myself and I was watching some bullshit on True T, T uh, True TV, but they showed the Mobile Leprechaun stuff from a few years ago. Oh, the guy in the tree. The guy in the tree with the yeah. professionals or the the drawing. Oh, fuck! I love it. I love yeah. the Mobile Leprechaun. Who's going to go through that tunnel? If you see him go through the tunnel, go through the tunnel. <laughs> I'll try. The special tunnel. Whoa. That's not what I was expecting at all. Why? <laughs> it's not bad. It's just not, I mean, taste it. It's just not your typical barbecue sauce. I don't have anything to put it on yet. Just <laughs> well, piece of bacon. <laughs> Buttermilk. Oh! What are you doing? Pouring barbecue sauce on the bacon. Let's see. Three quarter cups of buttermilk. Uh, how many servings is that going to make? I wonder. I gotta pause this. <laughs>